This morning on today's travel, we're taking you to, yes, you guessed it, Laos. If Matt's midweek, midweek trip on where in the world has piqued your interest, it certainly has ours. Today, travel editor Peter Greenberg is here to set us all packing. Peter, good morning. Good morning. A lot of advantages of traveling to Laos. Well, first and foremost is cost. It's still a very affordable trip. And also, it's the location of where it is. It's bordered by a number of countries in which it's only maybe a 40-minute flight to get there from Bangkok or from Cambodia or Vietnam. So it's very accessible. What else can we see besides what we saw from Matt. Well, you know, he started in Vientiane, which is where most of the flights go in. But it, and it's a beautiful capital. A lot of the temples there, though, were ransacked and, and destroyed by the Thais in, in the 1800s. So some of them are all restorations. But if you go about 270 miles north, you get to Luang Prabang. And Luang Prabang is really the old ancient royal capital. It gets a little crowded, so you got to get out your reservations early. But when you get there, you get to see it all. See what? Like, see, for example... The, or, well, the Watts. The Watts stands for temples. Uh. And the temples, they're, they're everywhere. And you just have to just go at the right time. And always, what, what Matt did today, remember when the light was going down, right. that magic hour, that's when you go. It sounds like exactly what he described. You get off the plane and you're seeing something you've never, you can't even barely imagine. Let's talk about the best kinds of trips. You talk about this one, for example, for deals in which you can actually build on your own trip. That's right. We talked about this the other day because it's a very affordable way to do it. It's called an RTW ticket around the world. Air Tracks offers it. It's not it's not excessively expensive. And remember, when you take a look at where, where, where Laos is, you go out. It's a one-hour flight from Bangkok, so you can actually go around the world for that amount of money. And you also get mileage in, in, at the same time. And for those, if, you, if you travel point to point, it becomes too expensive. Mm. For those of us who love to get off the beaten track, there are also some options there. Yes, there's a company called Intrepid Tours. These are deep, immersive vacations where it features homestays. You'll stay with the locals, as, as, as Peter Alexander did. You'll also do local transportation. That could be anything from a boat to an elephant, to what Matt just left on, the tuk-tuk, those little iron death machines, <laughs> and, and hold on tight. Okay. Also, um, you, you were talking about people who would have, you have another idea for people who have uh, want exercise or, or even more adventure. Well, sure. I mean, there, there are a number of expensive trips out there, too, if you want to go all the way. And, and Butterfield and Robinson has, has, a, has a great, what, bike trip. And you can do it that way all throughout the country because, remember, all the trails basically uh, parallel the Mekong. The Mekong is, is, is the lifeblood of this country, so it's biking and boating. Also, there are volunteer vacations. I think a lot of people like those ideas right now. This is the big thing on the day. It, it's, it's so important. Uh, Global Wear is one company that offers it. There are a number of country, companies that do it. It's volunteer vacations where you go there. You could actually bookend it with other trips to other countries. But when you're there, you're giving back. You're building stuff. You're repairing temples. You're doing archaeological digs. This is the kind of stuff that, that people really want to do because they, they don't just want to go on a trip and just see things. They want to learn and experience at the same time. What about time. taking your children? I mean, I think maybe at a certain age, Age, it might be okay. You know what? A number of these companies are offering trips where the families go because they all want to take the kids now because mm. the kids are really leading the way. Any kind, of, any kind of trip where the kids can go after the age of about seven, you can actually do it. This would certainly be a blow-your-mind trip. Thank you so Absolutely. much, Peter Greenberg, this morning, you helping us out. By the way, they had to keep these notes aside so that I could just get them this morning because they didn't want to give away that it's in Laos. Really? I know. I didn't know that. The here is so crazy. Wow, anyway, okay. Peter, thank you. Anyway, coming up, for more information, by the way, on all of what Peter just mentioned, visit our website at todayshow.com.